have we can have the uh, customer perspective of course you know we can measure things within the customer perspective the uh, internal processes how are they how are the internal processes doing measure those the efficiency of those the financial perspective and the innovation and learning type of perspectives within these items we might then put together some type of measurements that we could use in order to judge these different areas and again we want to put quantify these measurements as much as possible to be as transparent as possible for example customer perspective we might have customer satisfaction ratings now you might say customer satisfaction surveys we probably have those too and we'll get a lot of feedback in terms of text we'll read through all that and see if there's anything that we can apply to it but note that if we get the rating that's going to be a way to quantify it and that's going to be a lot easier for us to say hey this is how this department is doing based on customer satisfaction ratings as compared to some other company or, or department and we can make that comparison a lot more um, a lot easier now if there's stuff that's coming up in the text in surveys then of course we might put that in a numerical format we might say hey is this something that you would want to say how much you know how much benefit this would be to you in a one to ten kind of analysis and that way we can try to again quantify it in some way which is a little bit easier for us to do comparisons with if it's applicable number of new customers acquired again we're trying to quantify it in some way i mean how many new customers do we have in this department compared to another percent of time uh deliveries percent of on time deliveries and notice we have to use a percent here because again some departments might be bigger or smaller than another department so we can't just use total on-time deliveries versus non-on-time delivery right? we have to use some type of percent in case the departments aren't equal in size percent of sales from new uh, producers uh, same kind of concept that they might not be equal in size so we would use the percentage time to fill orders we can take this good old stopwatch and <laughs> to say how long it takes to fill or track in some format how long does it take to fill an order percent of sales returned again we can think about how many sales are, are returned and that would be an indication uh, from the customer of how satisfied they are.